Hello, so I just want to share with you my empties for April of 2023. And of course, as soon as I start to film, my dogs start playing in the background. So if you hear them, just know that they are having the time of their life. <laughs> Never fails. Okay, so the first thing I finished is this body butter and vanilla bean Noel. This smelled like absolutely nothing. Like, I use these on my feet, so I guess it doesn't really matter if it didn't smell like anything. But I'm glad to have it out of my collection because I do like it to smell a little bit, you know, make it a little bit more enjoyable. But, so that one's gone. It was starting to turn really brown, too, just from the vanilla. I used up this set of Summer Melody. This has scent notes of golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. I love this scent. Here's the body cream right here. So I actually think that the body cream smells better than the body lotion. I used up a body lotion in it last month. And it's kind of disappointing because this is my last body cream of it. But I have a ton of body lotions. I mean, I'll still enjoy them, but... The body cream is much better. I used up this moisturizing body wash in A Thousand Wishes. This has scent notes of pink Prosecco, sparkling quince, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto creme. I love this scent. Used up this scrub from in Poppy. Has scent notes of fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugared rhubarb, juicy pear. I really like this scent also. It's kind of just sweet and a little floral. It's really nice spring scent. For hand soap, we used up a blueberry bellini. This has scent notes of wild blueberry, bright citrus, and sparkling prosecco. I really like this one. I love blueberry scents, and this is one of my favorites. I used up a bar soap in Summer Melody. I used up a set of strawberry pound cake, which is my absolute favorite. Scent notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Always a repurchase for me. Here's the body cream. Used up a set of Pure Wonder. This has scent notes of ice rosé, star jasmine, and warm white amber. So it's funny because I actually didn't like this scent when it first came out. Like it reminds me of dryer sheets. And I think that's what actually what I like about it now is because we don't use scented... Um, detergent because it bothers my husband's skin now it makes him itchy so we had to switch a couple of years ago so this kind of reminds me of what our laundry used to smell like <laughs> but it's really nice it's not like an overpowering scent like some of them like the more perfumey scents from bath and body works are too much and this one's not it is strong though this is the spray i used up a moisturizing body wash in waikiki beach coconut this has scent notes of tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. I like this scent. I used up this moisturizing body wash in Bonfire Bash. This has scent notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. It's one of my favorite scents. So when I actually bought these, I bought a ton of these at semi annual sale when they were on clearance for like $3. And I think I'm down to the last few, which kind of makes me sad. At first, I thought I was going to get tired of it before I ran out, but. That's not the case. I still love this scent. Use up this tree hut scrub in pineapple. I like this scent. It's really strong. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. I used up this bikini reef from tree hut. This is actually one of their new scents. I think you can only get this one at Ulta, but this one's really, really nice. It's like a citrus, but it's sweet. I don't know. I really like this one. It's a good one. Also from Tree Hat, I used up this vanilla. Not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed in this one. Like, I love vanilla scents. Like, they are my favorite. I usually love anything that has vanilla in it. But this one is just, it was disappointing. Like, it's not a sweet vanilla. It's a really faint vanilla. Like, it's just, I don't know. It could have been so much better. I'm disappointed. Used up this Exotic Bloom. This one's really nice. This is a floral, but it's not like an overpowering floral. So I do really like this one. In hand soap, I use up this Autumn S'mores. This has crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and cinnamon spice. This is a really great one. I love this one. Re would continue to repurchase that one. I use up this scrub from St. Ives. It's coconut and coffee. It was okay. I got this at like Burlington a long time ago, so I finally decided I needed to just use it up. It was okay. It didn't smell great. It didn't smell like the OGX one. That one is amazing. But this one was kind of meh. Use up this hand soap. 
peppermint sugar cookie, which has scent notes of crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. I love this scent, but I decided that I do not like the gentle gel formula. It's the second one that I use, and I just, I miss the lather. Like, I don't get good lather with it, and I originally bought it because I thought that it would not dry all my hands as much, but it still does. So it's like if I'm going to dry all my hands, I might as well use this foaming, which I prefer. So I won't buy any more of these. I mean, I'm not buying any more soaps anyway. But in the future, when I decide to buy soaps again, I will not buy any gentle gels. Okay, from Victoria's Secret, I used up this melon sorbet. I do really like this one. Has sugared watermelon, strawberry leaves, and irresistibly cool. Here is the spray. I think I actually had two sets of these, and this is my last one. So, kind of sad to see it go, but you know, it's good to get it out of here. I used up a buttercups and berry bellini. This has set notes of strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, bubbly prosecco. I love this scent, and it makes me sad that I didn't have any body lotions in it. So. I'm trying to go through all my body creams right now. And when I'm done with all my body creams, I won't have any more of these. Here's the body cream right here. So maybe they'll bring it back. I used up a set of pink watermelon blast, which has scent notes of juicy pink watermelon, sugar, strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. It looks like it has some scrub on it. Ew. Yuck. Sticky. <laughs> I love uh, pink watermelon blast one of my favorites i actually used up the shower gel also and the spray is around here somewhere here it is right here the spray i love this one i hope this comes back this year i used up a scrub in pink pineapple sunrise sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun drenched nectar this is my last sand scrub and i'm so happy that it's gone i love this scent but sand scrubs are just terrible they're messy. Ugh. They're just not worth it for me. I used up a pink bubblegum pop, or bubblegum pop, which is gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burrs. I love this scent. It's so fun. It's one of those ones when you just start spraying it, you just can't stop. <laughs> I paired it with Cotton Candy Clouds Body Lotion. Damn, what is all over this? <laughs> and let's see, Spun Sugar, Pink Berries, and Whipped Vanilla. Love this scent. Ew. I used up this shave gel from Tree Hut in the watermelon scent. I love the shave gels. They're so good. If you haven't tried them, definitely try them. They're like life changing. I'll never go back to using shaving cream or soap or anything like that. Like, I am a shave oil type of girl now. I used up a set of strawberry snowflakes, which is juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and ice burma. I love this scent. I just, it's so light. Like, you have to spray the crap out of this to be able to smell it. I mean, I spray the crap out of myself anyway, but, like, this one is extra. Like, I went through this with no problems. Like, if this was stronger, this would probably be one of my top five scents from Bath & Body Works. And here is the body cream. The body cream's nice, though. It's pretty strong. In comparison, anyway. I used up a love spell from Victoria's Secret. It has sent notes of cherry blossom, fresh peach, impossible to resist. So I don't like this. I didn't mind it at first, but like as I start, kept using it, I was just like, no, <laughs> never again. So I'm glad that one's gone. There's the lotion right here. Packaging's pretty though. I like the purple. I used up a set of Hello Beautiful which is white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. I love this one. So I'm not really like a floral type of girl, but this one, I like this one. To me, this is like a really pretty floral, and it has that nectarine in there, and I think that's what kind of cuts into that floral a little bit. And I did pair it with like a sweeter perfume, so it wasn't just straight floral. I think that helped too. But I like this one. And I used up the body cream. There's the body cream. And I also used the shower gel. Here it is right here. All right. Used up a firecracker pop. Here's the shower gel. Is this the culprit that is making all my stuff sticky in here? I don't know. It's this red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. I love the scent. Here is the mist. 
here is the body cream. I saw this is coming back again this year, so that's nice, but no lotions again this year. So I guess I won't be buying that one. <laughs> I used up a set of coconut candy apple, which has candied red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. I love this scent. It's such a weird combination, but it works so well. Like it's just so pretty. The coconut is really strong and like the sweet apple. Oh, it's just perfect. And it's probably one of those ones that we'll never ever see again. And here's the body lotion. I use up the scrub and sunshine mimosa, which is bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. This is such a nice scent. And actually using the scrub made me really excited to use my body care. I think I have it planned for June. So I'm really excited to use it. Get some sunshine mimosa in my life. Used up the soap and ice dragon fruit tea. So actually we used half of the soap and then everybody in my family hated the soap, including myself. Like my kids started using the dish soap instead of this to wash their hands in the kitchen. They were just like, they could not handle it. They did not like the way it smelled. And so finally I was like, you know what? I have so much soap. I'm not going to force ourselves to use it. So I dumped it out. I'll never buy it again. It has scent notes of pink dragon fruit, green tea, and fresh lemonade. It just smells terrible. I mean, I know some people like it, but it's not for me. Used up a set of Whitberry Meringue, which has scent notes of fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. Notice that they are very similar to Cotton Candy Clouds because they smell exactly the same, in my opinion, anyway. Here's the lotion. I used up a shower gel in Bally Black Coconut Sands. Has scent notes of coconut milk, sea salt musk, and black sand. I love this scent. This is such a beautiful coconut scent. Like, I was hoping that Coco Paradise was going to smell like this. And I was really sad when it didn't. <laughs> this is, I don't know why, don't they, why they took this one away. I have no idea. But I used up the shower gel, so now that's gone. I used up my last spray. And I used up a lotion. Right there. Ah, all gone. So sad. I used up a moisturizing body wash and vanilla bean Noel, which has set notes of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. So this this smell amazing. You know, the body butter smelled like nothing, but this smells so good. So I was really happy about that. I used up a moisturizing body wash in Winter Candy Apple, which has scent notes of red apples, winter rose petals, candied oranges, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. So fun fact about me is I hate Winter Candy Apple in the body care. I don't mind it in like a soap because to me it makes sense in a soap because it smells like a soapy apple. So I don't want to wear it on my body in like a fragrance form, but I like to use it in the shower. Used up a soap and sweet strawberry scoop, which is sugared pink strawberries and vanilla bean ice cream. This is such a nice scent. I think that would make a really good like body care scent, like for their summer like when they, or like a bake shop or something. I used up a set of sweet whiskey which has golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, sweet red berries, which as I say all the time, this is just bonfire bash with berries. It's such a good scent. Here's the lotion. It's strong though. I mean, you gotta be in the mood to wear it when you have it. I used up some room sprays. Used up one, two, and three of my sugared watermelons, the third one. And I used up one. Pink Apple Punch. I am down to five room sprays in my whole collection. And two wallflowers. So excited. Like one and a half, actually. So I'm almost done with all of that. So excited. Okay, I used up an Among the Clouds soap, which is funny because when I first opened this, I couldn't smell it at all. And I was like, wow, I'm sure glad I didn't pay for that because I used one of my free item coupons for it. But actually, now that I'm using it in the shower, like when I started using it in the shower, I could smell it. So... I actually like this one. <laughs> For hand sanitizers, I used up a Birthday Wishes, which is cake batter, 
and smelt good. Did you notice that they don't do like cute little pictures and stuff anymore? They used to do like little puns, like and their names. Like they were super cute and like creative with their pocket bags. They're not like that anymore. <laughs> but we have a firecracker pop, a raspberry jam. I really like that one. Oh wait, I found another shower gel. I use up champagne sprinkles which is sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. I love this scent. I really wish they'd bring this one back. It's probably one of those ones that we'll never see again, just like everything else. <laughs> I also used up a spray sanitizer and blue agave oasis. So I liked this one when I first started using it, but like I was done with it by the time that I was done with it. Like I wouldn't buy this one again. It's a lot. Okay, I used up it for hand creams. I used up a firecracker pop. A champagne apple and honey. This one was super thick. Like, I don't think I've ever had a hand cream that was as thick as this one. This looks like they put body butter in here. It's crazy. And I used up a raspberry chiffon. I love this scent. For lippies, I used up a happy Easter. This one was okay. Used up a pineapple prosecco. It was alright. I used up a mango mai tai. It was okay too. And for perfumes, I used up a Summer Melody, a Pure Wonder, and this Cherry by Gourmand Beauty, which is just a cherry scent. It was really nice. I used it up with my Firecracker Pop. Um, I won't buy these anymore. I know they're only $18. Actually, I think they're more expensive now. You get them at Urban Outfitters. I think they're like $20 or $22 now. But they don't last very long. Like, the scent isn't strong. But, I mean, what can you expect for an $18 perfume? But it was fun while I had it. I do have a few more. I think I have, like, five other ones. And so I'll use those ones up. But these aren't, this isn't a brand that I would purchase again. So that is all of my empties. I'm going to lay them out, and I'll be right back. All right, there they are. All of my empties for April of 2023. And a cute dog. <laughs> I hope you are having a great day. And let me know what you use up this month. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.